Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about pipelines and buckets. All right, so I think most of us have probably read the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And if you haven't read it, you should. It's really, really good. In fact, in a way, I envy you because you get to read it for the first time. But in the book, Robert Kiyosaki makes a really good comparison between passive income and active income by talking about pipelines and buckets. So he tells this story about a town that needs water. It's about, it's a couple of miles away from a river and it needs water being delivered into the town. So it hires two competing companies. Company one goes off and buys a bunch of buckets and starts immediately bringing water to the town. And company two goes out, finds investors, and starts building a pipeline. Now, in the short term, company one starts to capture the market. They take over. They're able to deliver water. They're able to make money right away. And eventually, they have to scale up and they have to start hiring more bucket carriers. The guy gets his own, you know, the solopreneur who started it off on his own has to get his kids to carry buckets for him. And eventually he just, he's able to capture the market. But after a year, the set, and I think it's about after a year, the second company finishes their pipeline and is able to start delivering water cheaper and more efficiently and eventually puts company one out of business, right? It's a really good analogy. And I think about it a lot with our business where I think about client work is carrying buckets, right? That's immediate revenue. We're able to do some work for clients. We're able to get revenue in all the way. And our own applications are the pipeline, right? So whenever we have economic difficulty, like right now it's, it's Brexit here, right? And I know, I don't know what it's like for other companies, but it's been a bit, the last couple of months have been very, very slow in terms of bringing in new work. And I don't think it's because of Brexit. I think it's because of the fear of Brexit and nobody wants to do anything yet. So it's been very, very difficult going that way, but the app income continues to come in, right? Now, to be honest with you, and this is all on me, over the past year, I've been focused so much on carrying those buckets. I've been so carry, focused so much on the client work that I have not been doing a lot for my own apps, and they're consistently bringing in revenue, right? As the economy starts to take a hit, if it's gonna take a hit, or if even if it doesn't because of this, because it does of something else, the app income that pipeline is something that I'm going to feel really bad about neglecting, right? For those of you guys who are just trying to do the pipeline, I know it's difficult because you do need revenue coming in. You do need money. You need to pay your bills month to month. And I would suggest doing both at the same time, but don't fall into the trap like I've done where you take the eye off the ball and stop looking at building the pipeline. And you know, in terms of, it's, it's funny how consistently the revenue comes in. I've showed you guys my revenue reports. There's about three grand a month that comes in through the app income, right? And that's without subscriptions, right? If I'm going to do it again, I need to do some subscriptions to SaaS services. But um, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, and tough times hit every economy. And, um, you know, they could, they could hit the pipeline too. They could hit the passive income. But you need to put those things in place, right? Pipelines and buckets. If you haven't read the book, read it. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.